As we pro progress with our program, it is my pleasure to call up our first uh, group for their presentation this evening. We are welcoming Apostle James and Matthew home groups to have a combined presentation. Their reading will be taken from Psalms 146 verses 1 to 10, and the theme of their prayer is for God's protection over our country. I just want to praise the Lord. For this evening is found in Psalms, Psalms 146, at verse 1 to 10. Praise ye the Lord, praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, will I praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. His breath goeth forth, he returneth to his earth. In that very day, his thoughts perish. Happy is he that had the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God. Verse 6, which made heaven and earth and the sea, and all that therein is, which keepeth truth forever, which executeth judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry, the Lord loseth the prisoners. The Lord openeth the eyes of the blind, the Lord raiseth them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. The Lord preserveth the strangers. The relie he relieveth the fatherless and widow. But the way of the wicked he turneth upside down. Yeah. The Lord shall reign forever, even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. My text for this evening is found in the book of Psalms, Psalms 146 at verse 2. While I live, will I praise the Lord. I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. My theme is, do it while you can. Saints, our ultimate purpose in this life as saints of the Most High God is to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why praise the Lord? For all His goodness and faithfulness upon us each and every day. Count every day, every hour, every minute, and every second the blessing to live this life with all the oxygen we breathe in and the carbon dioxide that we breathe out. While we live, we move, we sing, we shout, we dance, and do all the work that is required of us to do. Some people, unfortunately, are alive but cannot do these very simple tasks to open their mouths and praise the Lord due to illness or otherwise. However, only the Lord knows how they praise Him. They may not show the expressions of their praise, but the Lord sees their hearts. Saints, do it while you can. While you live according to our text, keep praising the Lord. While you have the opportunity to do so, when we live, the, when we leave this life, hallelujah, according to our text, when we leave this life and go to our graves, there is no more praising the Lord. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10 declares, Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might. For there is no work, nor device, nor knowledge, nor wisdom in the grave whither thou goest. Do it while you can. Psalms 146. Praise the Lord, praise he the Lord, all my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life, and I will sing praises to my God as long as I live. Do not put your trust in princes, 
In human beings, who cannot save? Saints and people of God, David or the psalmist saying, or reminding us, we all need to give our Lord the highest praise. Let us exalt our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Knowing the oneness of God, Jesus is the Lord of Lords. Who is the Lord of the world? Who has created it and upholded it? He is the Lord of Lords for all humanity by creation, redemption, and grace, and from whom we receive all blessings and mercies. Let us not just have lip service only, but show forth our praise in singing, playing instruments of any kind, our worship and testimonies from our own tongues and mouth and lips, and everything that have breath, praise He the Lord. Amen. With the heart of conviction, Jesus came to dwell among us, and He did not separate, him, separate Himself or isolate Himself, but He was among, among the sinners, the prostitutes, the poor, the blind, the lame, yes. and the dead, doing all kinds of healing and deliverance. God is faithful. Blessed is He whose hope is in the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Si su a feita la loe, si o kau piliki mi hen. Koma o kapiteni koe, he kumi a fonua lele. A fe mai ao no fumau, kai o a peke fukau. O tu a mafi mafi koe, ma o tamai o kui he wani. O koma o faka fetai, mo faka malo ki he afi o na si su. Ho peke a he kolosi, ka mau mo uyai. Faka mole mole yang ki mau tolu, mo inga he na hala koto a pe o koma o fai. Eo tu a mau faka malo ki he afi o na. Ho malui, ho mau ki fonua, faka o fo o fa o kui ko palatai si ku ka alani. Faka malo mo faka fetai, ho malui, a inga he o tu matu koto a pe i he fonua ni. Faka malo. ケトマトミツワチョンアティテテチョデオチョデアリキオデオリキエストマトアカオラテプマナネディナカオテマトオラデディナカオパロネトマトタキンアミタノトオタキンアミタゲエテロイトオパシレヤテコキアイレニト
praise ye the Lord, for it is good to praise, uh, sing praise unto our God, yeah. for it is pleasant and praise is comingly. The Lord do, doth uh, build up Jerusalem. He gathereth together the cast out of Israel. He healeth the broken in heart and bindeth up the wounds. He telleth the numbers of the stars. He calleth them all by their names. Great is our God and a great power. His understanding is infinite. The Lord lifted up the meek. He casteth the weak down to the ground. Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praises unto, upon the harp unto our God. He covereth the heavens with clouds. Who prepareth for the earth? He maketh grass to grow upon the mountains. He giveth to the beast his food, and to the young ravens with cry. He delighteth with the strength of horse. He taketh not pleasure in the legs of the man. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him, in those that hope in his mercy. In the book of Psalms, David is a man of the God's heart, full of worship and adoration of what God had done in his life. Through his genealogy, God has bestowed upon David the kingship title to be a king and unto his children after. Sometimes we feel we don't understand ourselves. What we want, how we feel, what's wrong with us, or what we should do about it. But God's understanding has no limit, and therefore he understands us fully. Hallelujah. If you feel troubled and don't understand yourself, remember Hallelujah. that God understands you perfectly. Hallelujah. Take your mind off yourself and focus on God. Seek to become more and more like Him. Yeah. And more, the more you learn about God and His ways, the better you will understand yourself. Hallelujah. This God we serve is truly capable of all praises. So give Him all your praises. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord to the people of the living God. Praise the Lord. Our chosen text is found in Psalm 147, verse 1 to 11. But I will focus our text on the opening of the psalm. Psalm 147 verse 1. Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to, be, to sing and praise unto God, for it is pleasant, and praise is comely. Yeah. Our, theme, our theme, praise the Lord for his goodness and faithfulness. As a believer's Holy Ghost, few people, few the people, preachers of the truth, we must praise the Lord for he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Even the way we greet each other, our brothers and sisters, we say, praise the Lord, brothers, or praise the Lord, sisters. Amen? Amen. Uh, our Psalm 147 focuses on how amazing is God we serve. A mighty and powerful God, a mighty and powerful creator who healed the brokenhearted and covered the wound, who knows the number of, who knows the number of stars and called, called them by their names. The one who built Jerusalem up and gathered the exile of Israel. Verse 11 finish off where the Lord delighted in those who fear him and who put their hopes in his unfailing love. Yes. Praise, the, praise to the one who owns such great power and mercy and grace. Amen? Amen. We are called to praise. There is nothing less about the mighty power he holds. He is caring, yet he is just. So let praise him nonstop. Apostle Mark, Apostle Peter, let everything have Praise the Lord. Praise He the Lord. Close our eyes, Lord Jesus. There is none like you, and your greatness is unsearchable. You remain unaffected by place and untouched by time. Tonight we acknowledge your power and reign over both the northern and south in Cook Islands. Hallelujah. Father, you are Lord over our beautiful nation, yes. for your word says that righteousness exalts a nation. Hallelujah. Thank you for our leaders and everyone that you have placed in this country. Yes. Lord, we ask you humbly to yes. prosper our economy. Thank Let your plan stand you. forever. And may your purpose for this nation stand firm through all generations. Hallelujah. Let your will be done in Let Jesus' name. Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Please, I'd like you all to welcome them up. So Apostle Paul and Apostle Jude, whose reading will be taken from Psalms 148, 1 to 14. 
in the theme of their prayers, we uphold the people of Ukraine and the South China Sea regions. So our scripture for this evening, Psalm 148, 1 to 14. Psalm 148, 1 to 14. And let us all read one together. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise ye him, all his angels. Praise ye him, all his hosts. Praise ye him, sun and moon. Praise him, all his stars of light. Praise him, he heavens of heavens, and he waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He has also established them forever and ever. He has made a decree which shall not pass. Praise he the Lord from the earth, he dragons and all deeds, fire and hail, snow and vapor, stormy wind fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, peace and all cattle, gripping things and flying fowl, kings of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the whole For his goodness and faithfulness. Yeah. It's not the whole scripture, but my selection now. Verse is verse 5. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. Saints and people of God, you ask that question why is God faithfulness and goodness is so important? People of God, before God cre create this, uh, this world, he already know us and also when God created us there is a purpose why God created us so God he is our creator and we are his creation so saints and people of God so we need to praise our Lord King Jesus because he is a mighty God he is so powerful he is kind and he is lover because he gave, he gave his whole life for you, for me, and for the whole world. Hallelujah. So God bless us all. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Our next text is taken from verse 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. For his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. In studying Psalm 148, we see, we discover that the psalmist is commanding, reminding, encouraging every created being to praise, to worship God Almighty. If I and when you take a time, take a resort to the beach or to a creek, and quietly observe, hear the sea roll peacefully on 
on the shores on a calm day and watch the sea roar on a very high tide. Likewise, observing the water that flows downhill peacefully when it is calm. But when there's flood, watch the thundering downhill, downhill pouring of the flood. Although their sounds are different, they are music of praise to their creator. We hear the rooster crow at the break of dawn, and at every feed they find, they call their family to partake of the meal. These are some of the songs, the music, the language of his crea creations are known to us. When we look at the wonders, the sounds, the signs of the galaxy, the sun, the moon, the stars, the earth, and the mountains speak volume to men of what God has in plan for their lives. They all display the awesomeness of God's power, majesty, and mysteries. Somehow or rather, they praise, they worship, they honor their creator, their king, their master, and their loving God. God has a plan for all his creation. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, you can read that. So what about us, created in God's image? God protected us, spared us from the destruction of any cyclone that was planned, that was named from October 21 to April 22. Yes. Glory and honor, praise due unto our Lord and Savior Jesus, for he protected us from all those disasters that could have happened to us. And secondly, he's protecting us from the worst of the COVID-19, providing scientists to create the vaccine, yes. to, to vaccine us so we can be protected. Praise the Lord. God's ears are not deaf to hear the petition of every prayer warrior, every servant of God, every child that approach him in prayer when in need or without of need. There is no other God like Jesus. Amen. Born into this world of a humble beginning in the manger with the animals around him, I think and triumphantly entered Jerusalem for the last time, humbly to be the Paschal Lamb, to atone for all sin from every kind of sin on this whole planet Earth. Praise the Lord. His precious blood is the Passover that enables us to boldly come before His presence daily, not once a week, not once a month, not twice a year, but daily. Let us sing, Hosanna, save me now, save us now, not tomorrow. Let us surrender our all to Jesus. Today, give him praise, glory, and honor due unto him and him alone. Let us pray. <coughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, we uphold the Ukraine fallen at the, the, land, the hands of Russia a war of greed, a war for power. We pray for the people of Ukraine being pushed away from their homes, separating them from their families and their loved ones. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. People dying by the thousands, thousands fled from their homes to nearby countries. Father, Thou seest all. Great are thy tender mercies, Lord. Hearken unto the afflictions of thy people, suffering from the destruction and the devastation of this war. We pray for deliverance, for peace, for provision, for protection, for restoration, and for compassion. Our oh, Lord Jesus, for comfort, and for their needs. Thy word says, our help cometh from the Lord, which made the heaven and the earth. Lord Jesus, we uphold the South China Sea region. Father, man can only do so much, 
but you, Lord, will do until the end of time. We pray for this new virus in South China. We come against this virus in Jesus' name, claiming lives. Father, only you can do the impossible because thou art God Almighty. We call upon the name of Jesus, <coughs> set your people at liberty, that you will be in control of everything. As we pray for all the South Seas, China Seas region, Father, this is our prayer. Hallelujah. Your will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. <laughs> Praise and glory to your name. Thank you, Lord. Let us now continue with our celebration program and bring up to the front now our Apostle Thomas and our Apostle Bartholomew Home Group, who will be taking their reading from Psalms 149, verses 129. And the themed prayer for Israel and the Middle East. Amen. Faithfulness. Come on and give God a higher praise. 
the dance, let them sing praise unto him with the temple and harps. Yes. My supporting theme is a victory celebration. Yes. Tonight is a night of thanksgiving and a night of celebration yes. to celebrate our victory in Jesus. Yes. And he will purify us with salvation. Yes. For we, we came through storm, came through challenge, through rainy days, COVID and he did not suffer thy food to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon the right hand. The sun shall not smit thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. Wow! Amen. So let us praise God with a loud voice of joyful noise. Let us with our heart full of joy and celebrate our victory. And celebrate our victory only found in Jesus Christ, the King of all kings. Hallelujah. Let's pray for Israel. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we, bow, we humbly bow down before your holy presence to intercede for the nation of Israel. We uphold before thee, the people of Israel, going through their daily lives at this time of uncertainty and whatever is happening with them. Please let your protection, your healings, your strength, and your guiding light be upon them. Lead them the way, Lord, for a much more better future ahead of them. And may their lives focus firmly on you as there is none other but you always, Lord. You are your ways, Lord. Let your matchless love, your mercy, your provision, and your endless protection rest upon them. Your name be praised forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus, the God who owns the world, God of mercy and compassion of grace and reconciliation, reconciliation. You are the Prince of Peace, yes. a praise for the end of the violence and bloodshed, and ask you to bring a new dawn of peace across the Middle East. We pray for help and support to all those who are in need, Father. Father, there is so much pain and conflict across the Middle East. Father, we pray for leaders throughout the region and ask you to turn their heart towards peace. That's the heart of those who seek peace. Yes. Hallelujah. Father, bless them as they work to the end of conflict. Father, lead those who involve in violence to put down their weapons and to live in peace with one another. In Jesus' name. I pray, Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah to your mighty name. And now to bring up our final presentations for this evening, saints and family of God, and for those of you who are joining us by live stream, my pleasure now to call together and bring them up to the front as a combined group, our Apostle Andrew and John Home Group.
or she is getting together. In another word, everything is falling into place. Hallelujah. But the word praise is an expression of approval for the people of God. I got pain in my back. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I got cancer. Praise the Lord. My neighbor has been blessed. Praise the Lord.
Praise the Lord, Apostle John and Apostle Andrew. Thank you. Thank you again. Now, bringing up uh, towards the end of our presentations, my pleasure now to bring them up to the front as a combined group, Apostle Philip and Deacon Stephen. Their psalm is from uh, Psalm 8, verses 1 to 9. And their theme prayer is to acknowledge of God's control over the global climate, the global climate change, and the safe open doors to the development of seabed mining in our country. Please welcome them up, Apostle Philip, Deacon Stephen.
psalms were written to help us worship. David wrote this psalm, a love letter to God. The creator and sustainer of all things, he is mightier than any God humans can conjure up and more powerful than all the nations and armies of the world. They teach us how to sing, how to dance, rejoice, give thanks, confess sin, grieve, and proclaim our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This psalm calls for humility by placing God, not man, at the center of all things. David did not have the technology that we have to look closely to see how things are put together. But as a young shepherd boy, David had plenty of occasions where he witnessed God's handiwork as he gazed up into a pitch black sky that held an incalculable number of shimmering stars. When God created what God created is fully, truly amazing. And yet, care, and yet God cares for each and every one of us and made each and every one of us different and special. By faith in Christ, we are united with Him and become partakers of His glory and His resurrection. We should be thankful that God is so wise in having planned a way for our redemption through Jesus Christ and has remembered us in His creation by crowning us with glory and with honor. Everything about God's creation points to his wonderful majesty. Nothing is out of sync. Oh Lord, oh Lord, how majestic. Oh Lord, oh Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. To close our part, we will be closing our part with prayers of acknowledgement of God's control over the global climate changes and a safe open door to the development of seabed mining in our country. Lord, let your will be done. This will be by our Deacon Junior Arei. Praise the Lord. Let's open a tomato or two. The kino, you don't tomato orang. You don't toy tomato mona own. Pera tomato ati. The tayo tuata, we took one at the Matangi Rinui. The Vera Otera. The Naruaka Ki. The Waipuke. Eh, the Matangi Kino tomato ati. The tua. The Tupukatone, the Makituke, the Akatupuia. You don't toy the tuata, no the Tangani. The Patine Matoyako, a yesu. Kia paru rumah mai koi toh itu tangat. Kia orang mai koi toh marah ma. Te kita te pakari kia rau kaya matu te rau pakau itu matu aju. Te me itu puni. No itu matu ina ngaru ya koi itu itu ya po. Te pacu ne matu itu matu wakarong kia itu ya koi kia itu ya Yesus itu matu aju. Hallelujah. Amen. Next up, Alda Tangaru Owea. Owea, our faithful and powerful God. Creator of everything, hear our prayers. God, hearken your hearts and your ears to our cry. Help us, O oh Lord, to rely on you for everything we do. The giver of all life. Trust you, Lord, that the safe open door to the development of seabed mining in our nation will come to fruition without delay. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the sweet communion of the Holy Ghost be with the people of the Cook Islands. God bless the Cook Islands and to God be the glory forever and ever. God's people say, Amen.
give a hand praise to our God. Oh, our presentation tonight. 